It was down to the wire on the X Fact with now just three contestants left in the competition. We have our final three. After Monday's live performances, Bella and the collective landed in the bottom two, forced to sing for their places in the grand final. You're in the arms of the angel. May you find some comfort You're in the arms of the angel. May you find some comfort But when the judges couldn't agree, it came down to a deadlock, and it was Bella who Thank received God. the least viewer votes. The three best are in the final three, and you're going to smash it next week. I'm so proud of you, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Bella. Bella Ferraro joins us now live here in the studio. Hi, Bella. Hey. You had so much to say last night. You got it all out. It was like, a, yeah. I think it's really important to thank people for getting you where you are because I could never have done that on my own. There are so many people in it for me. and You have to say thank you. Gee, you got a long way through this uh, contest, this little competition thing. Did you think you would get this far? No. No, I knew... I sort of knew that X Factor would always go in my favour because I had this gut feeling like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. It was like, it's weird, it like spoke to me. It was like, do X Factor, it's gonna work out. But I didn't know how. I didn't think I would make live shows. I just thought I couldn't, there was nothing to lose by doing it. And I kind of had this sneaky feeling like, it's gonna work out, it's gonna be okay, just do it, just trust your instincts. So I did. Um, and I became fourth. I didn't expect fourth at all. I thought I'd be one of the first to go, to wow. be honest, but. It's a great result. Well, you certainly held your own. All the way through the competition, all we kept hearing about was that first audition, the Birdie song. Did you get sick of people bringing that up or were you flattered that they thought that that was so outstanding? Here it is, we're seeing it here. How did you feel about that? I mean, um, it's very flattering to get these compliments. I mean, I'll never say it's not flattering because it is, but I did get frustrated because I think that a lot of the reason people thought that was so good is because it was so hyped up and it didn't need to be that hyped up. I could have just had a little minute clip like everyone else, but they played the full audition. And um, I just think that, you know, obviously I have quite a unique voice and I think that obviously made people sit up a little bit as well. But I just think... Um, I think I, I have done better than Skinny Love and it does get a bit frustrating when people just, they keep mentioning it as if you haven't done better. Was it more emotional or more traumatic, this ride, than you thought it would be? We saw the tears and... Uh... I think we've all seen enough tears from me. So hopefully at finale I bottle them in because I've cried a lot in the series. <laughs> yeah. Um, but... Yeah, it's been, I think I was surprised at how emotionally invested I got, but at the same token, I kind of knew I'd get on really well with everyone because that's what we're all here, we're all here for the same thing, right. to do well, and everyone is so inspiring, and I really feel for the contestants because they're just here to do their best as well. Putting aside the birdie skinny love moment, yes. where do you think we saw the true Bella in all these performances in all the weeks, in the, in the nine or so weeks? What do you think came closest to capturing who you really would like to be as a performer moving forward? Um, speaking in the live shows, I think probably sweet disposition. Right. But I really liked my performance. Really like my own performance. No, but I did enjoy performing Heartbeats um, overseas for Kesha and for Nat. And I, I wish they'd played that one a bit longer because that was a real comeback from boot camp. And I, I feel like they didn't really talk about that enough. Like it kind of just went from boot camp being down here to then I was okay at at home visit but I actually did quite well at home visit because then I got through but 
I feel like we should have talked about that a little bit more because I think people just thought I got really bad and then never quite got back up again, which isn't true. Mm. But you sing for your life last night. That was a beautiful way to go out. I was, a little bit, I was a little bit flat on certain notes. That's, but that's what happens in the bottom two, you know, because you have the in-ears and you can't really hear it that well and obviously people are screaming. Oh, hey, very um, well. But I was, I was flat, I can be honest Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Anyone's game. It is anyone's game. Come on. It's anyone's game, honestly. Who would, who would you like to win? I think because I've grown the closest with her and because I know her story, I think I'd love for Sammy to win because yeah. she has earned her play. She, look, she is fantastic. Mm -hmm. She is all just, right. she ticks all the boxes. She's the X Factor for me. <laughs> Bella, great to see you. I should be a judge, look at me go. Yeah, you should be a judge. <laughs> you, hey. you tick all the boxes. I do want to come back next year in, in some, some part of the crew. Yeah, right. Whether it's a judge, not, not likely, <laughs> right. or like stylist or something. I'm, I don't something. want to oh, go. She's been infected. Can't let her go. Good okay. to see you, Bella. Congratulations Thanks, on stuff. everything you did through the show. Just right. fabulous.